Well, everyone, welcome back to Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. It's uh, been a few days since we last played and arrived here in, I believe this is called the Crow's Nest. And we have unlocked quite a lot of content in this area that we're probably going to be working on today. So I think what we should do is uh, leave, the, leave the town and go out and see what we can figure out. There's a quest right here called the Condor Watching Society Request. Um, and it looks like it has several legs. We should maybe start that. And uh, some of the other quests, I'm trying to remember where it is, further out, further south, correct? Which we haven't done yet. So, I think we should basically just head south and see what we can find, and go from there. I get that we're brand new to the CAS, but handing out flyers and posting signs is getting... Oh, I got a request today. We have a party, a combat party, that is, of Red 13, Aerith, and Tifa. So I think we'll do that. I think we'll do, uh, how do I take him out? Oh, you can't take Cloud out of the party. Never mind. There's no way. Cloud is locked in your party no matter what. So there's no way to do red. There's an absolutely no way to do red Aerith and Tifa. That's not possible. That's kind of silly, I think. Why is Cloud always locked in your party? I don't agree with that at all. <laughs> I don't think that he should, but I guess I can't fix that. <clears throat> So we got Barrett. Let's man. Let's do Barrett, Tifa, and Cloud. Oops. What? <clears throat> Cloud. The one I play is Cloud. One I play is Barrett, and one I play is Tifa. I already played with Red a bunch last time. So. <clears throat> really lucky. Okay, we're heading south. See what we got outside of town. I take it you're new. Better than Resident Evil 4 Remake? Is what better than Resident Evil 4 Remake, Gaia 1? Gaia 1, are you are you behind? I think Gaia 1 may be really behind on the stream. But I think he's actually referencing what we were talking about earlier about remakes. And I said that I think Resident Evil 2 Remake is the best remake ever. I think he's asking, is it better than Resident Evil 4 Remake? But I answered that like 25 minutes ago. I think he's a little behind on the stream. <laughs> But yes, I do believe Resident Evil 2 Remake, to this day, is still the best remake ever. Carlton Jr. says, I give Aerith all the ATB boosting items materia if you plan on using her so she can have a bar of ATB when starting combat. Oh, wait. We have this already? What the? I guess we're going to do this right away. It's right down here. Many legends about Phoenix have been passed down. One tells of the great birds scouring the coast in search of a final resting place. A fisherman needed to share the warmth of his fire. The phoenix dipped its feathers in the proffered flames, thereby rekindling its fading life force. Yeah, see, Gaia 1 is really behind. Now he says, seems like people would pay for you to talk. You don't need to play any games, just do podcasts laughing out loud. I, I agree. What I've noticed recently is particularly I've been playing so many RPGs. My mainstream audience doesn't like RPGs. You guys who are here today are my core audience, but it's not considered a mainstream gaming audience. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and basically, a lot more people are now tuning into my podcast than the gameplay. Like right now, for the podcast, we had over 400 people. Right now, for gameplay, we have 265. 200 people left because they didn't want to see Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> you see? I'm, listen, I'm appreciative of those of you who are still here, but I find it pretty crazy how different... You know, we it is, right? It used to be the opposite. It used to be more people were here for the gameplay, but I'm seeing that audience flip a bit now. <laughs> Hold on. I'm telling Gaia... I'm telling Gaia that he's like 30 minutes behind on the stream. So he understands that when he's talking in the chat, no one really knows what he's talking about. <laughs> okay. Analyze the Phoenix Crystal. Okay. X square, X square. No? Easy peasy. These are very easy. 
<laughs> Two down, one to go. Alrighty. Do I like the story changes so far? You know, there's not that many. The few story changes they've done seem to fit into the game Thanks being more Carl, modern, right? I was able to successfully extract data on the DAE. Madara's God says he's 83 hours into this game. We're, currently, we're only around 18. And he says that he's on the final mission. This is definitely going to be his game of the year. Well, don't never, never say that so early because we are very early into the gaming year. But I can understand why people would feel that way. I'm, I really like the game so far. <laughs> so that's done. And now we're going to head further south and out into the open world. Can we summon our chocobo? I forgot how to do that. How do you summon your chocobo? Okay. Paul Chocobo, R1. <laughs> Terry says it could be cause and effect because you keep saying your viewers are, in, are burned out on RPGs. It's harder to get people engaged in them. I mean, w w would you like me to lie? Because I could. I could be like, yeah, the RPGs are doing so good, man. Everyone's really loving them. And, you know, but I'm not that kind of guy. Like, I'm going to be honest about it. This is the observation I'm making. I think this game is outstanding, but we can't get too many people to watch it. And there's not much I can do about that. You know what I mean? Like, I think it's outstanding. <laughs> Carlton Jr. says he likes some of the changes, but he feels there's too much filler. Not enough plot. Well, if you think the open world content is filler, you're probably dead on correct. There's a lot of this open world content that wasn't present in the original game. <laughs> So in that regard, I'll agree with you. Um, whether or not you find the open world content entertaining, I guess is another matter entirely. Because if you find it entertaining, you probably not, aren't too bothered by it. But if you find it boring, then you probably think it's filler and not very good. So I can see both, I can see both arguments. I'm liking the open world content, but a lot of the viewers are not, right? A lot of the viewers actually think it's more boring. Oh, look at this. Pressure enemies, stagger enemy, defeat all enemies. Fleet wings. Oh crap! I had the wrong party. I do have the wrong party. I'm gonna go bury. There you go. What do you want? You need bullets to increase stagger and power up your attack. Cool. Let's try that. You can't see. Why is items blown? Hell. Light build future. You'll be soaring through the sky. I know. Oh, we should probably swap the cloud to have him use assess. They're all weak to win. They're always weak to win. You know, it's that they're like always weak to win. Okay. Don't overdo it. All he has is thunder, though. Can't see. I can't tell them locked on. Or not. What's going on? Yeah, I don't think we have wind. I don't think we have any wind abilities. Bullet battery. Try to move. I don't think it work. Keep it together. Storing fury. That one goes up. There we go. Reverse scale. Here we go. Ice pressure. We didn't stagger an enemy, darn. Well, you're always welcome to make another attempt. We pressured and defeated, but we didn't get the stagger. Most excellent work, Cloud. 
that battle prove a fitting test of your prowess? <laughs> your dissatisfied expression says it all. <laughs> oh, yes! I noticed that as well. You aren't equipped with that functionality. Anyway, with the data from your latest You're battle, equipped with that functionality. I created a new virtual <laughs> combat trial. Oh, okay, a new combat trial. Real test. All right. Your loss is what moments from the original game are you looking forward to in this one? Uh, you know, Cosmo Canyon has always been a cool part. I really like the music and the and the atmosphere. I can't wait to see how they do that in this one. Like how they're how it's gonna be, you know, handled. I don't know how it's gonna be handled. Um, and also, you know, Golden Saucer. I think with all its little mini game side content. Would be pretty neat. I don't know how they're gonna tie into the story, but I guess we'll find out, don't right? Like, back. I think it has good potential for some interesting stuff coming out. Hang back. Always gotta assess the enemies, right? That's good, right. Weak to ice. Zemzilla is weak to ice, and then the other oh, they're both weak to ice. Okay. Who has ice? <laughs> He does. Chill. Hey, didn't even, he, said, he didn't even do anything. He said, he said chill, but I don't think he did it. I parry. Let's finish this. I don't think the ice really did anything. It's supposed to be his weakness. Walton Jr. says, I like the open world content in correct doses. It's about pacing, and I don't feel like it's paced right. As you get into later chapters, you'll see what I mean. Oh. I guess we'll see. Maybe if, it, if it's just the constant formula and it never variates, it's always just open world, open world, open world, then maybe there is a problem. Madara says that Cosmo Canyon is his favorite part of the game, and I will love it. Cool. But good. Wait a minute. Before we go all the way up, look. Aha. We got a play arts sweeper. What the hell is that? I have no idea. A play arts sweeper. There's something down here, but I can't get down. I can't go down. Huh. What is a play arts sweeper? Jade, I, I actually said this earlier. Sadly, the game makes you have cloud in your party no matter what. So I wouldn't be able to make a party with just Red, Tifa, and Aerith like you're requesting. You have to have Cloud. Otherwise, I totally would have done that. We're going this way. We're exploring. We haven't been able to get over here yet. But I don't know if maybe you do that from here. Maybe you actually do it from there. How would you get... Oh. Oh, I was supposed to do that from the town. Oh, never mind. All right, let's just go first. Let's do all this stuff down here then. I actually missed the... Fort Condor mission by accident. Play Arts is a figure brand? Yeah, that's true. Play Arts is a real action figure manufacturer, right? Uh-oh. Why is there an empty camp here? Uh, that's odd. A camp with no one in it? That's really odd. Will someone show up there later? I wonder. What is that across the river? It looks like a bunch of balloons. Bow scaling, fun. Very fun. Madara says, I think it's a missed opportunity. We should be able to have a full party without Cloud. I completely agree. I don't know why Cloud is necessary. I get he's the protagonist, but it's fun to have variety, right? Oh, there's a photo opportunity down there. It looks like you get to it from over there. See that? Okay. What the heck is this? Why are all these balloons? <laughs> no? Freaking balloons. So first of all, let's see if we can get to the photo area. Which probably isn't climbing, but instead going this way, I bet. Oh. The owl? Where'd the owl go? He flew up. Then going down? Okay. Good. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, it's this one down here. Okay. Tell us to go? So this is how we get to the photo area, which I want to do. Where's the owl telling us to go? I can't tell. This way? No. Yes? Yes, this way. Okay. Well, let's do this first. Let us partake of the planet's wisdom. Life spring. Usual here. Orange says, I bet they'll have a mod to change your party without Cloud when this comes out on PC. Probably. <clears throat> Medora's God says, that is why it's it's fun to do the combat trials, because in the combat trials, you don't need Cloud. Hmm. That's your opportunity to break free from Cloud. <laughs> Alright, let's do the photo opportunity over here. And then we'll go back the other way. Down here, anything up here maybe? Some items? A ladder, can we climb that ladder? Nothing here. Wait, can't climb the ladder? Hold on, I tried but then you got back on the chocobo. No, apparently you can't climb the ladder. Oh, lame. Do, 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 do. Anything on this? There we go. Anything on here besides just like, uh, oh. Oh, that's what we needed. We needed the ether onion and we need the manifestation of the planet's blessing. Those are the things we actually need right now, I think. Another ether onion. Yeah, these are the rare crafting items I need to craft some stuff. This is pretty good, actually, the stuff we're finding. Don't ask me why there's onions on this uh, capsized shit. Plan is blessing and favor. Or is it favor we need? Actually, I think it's favor that we need, not blessing. So where is this photo opportunity? Water. Huh? How do I... Apparently I was already at it. Oh, man. I was already at it? Oh, that sucks. Is there anything down here? Before we go back, is there anything down here like in the water or something? And there's a, That's why this is here? That's what I'm thinking. Like, this is here for a reason, right? Oh, yeah. What's this? Oh, this is a new area. Oh, okay. All right, then we can fast travel back. Okay, let's see what this is. The Ruined Treasury. Go up here. In here. What the heck? Lion statues. Huh. It seems like I'm here early, doesn't it? Because it doesn't look like there's anything I can interact with. But it looks like, again, there should be, like, someone here. There's a chest. <clears throat> Two high potions. I definitely feel like I'm here early. Right? The... <laughs> yeah, see what's up here. Okay. Oh, here we go. Hmm. Look at both senses tingling. I got an 
emeralds crafting. Okay. <clears throat> I wonder with those ether onions if I can craft something now. <clears throat> Oops. Keep going. Uh, can I craft anything new? Let's take a quick look. So close to the gold needle, but I need a planet venison and gold dust, which don't exist. Nope. <clears throat> I can't craft any of the stuff yet. They're just not giving me the items for it. These are enemies? Seriously? These things? Won't take long. These little things? Come on. You do the uppercut and then you do the dive kick. That's how you found it. Uh, Sarah, literally no one reaches out to partner with me. No one will because the amount of people who just shit on me on the internet. I'll never get a partnership. You understand that, right? I've been around doing this longer than most content creators. I've got more experience doing it. I can attest to games better, right? I, you know, but no one cares. No one cares because of online hate. It's, just, it's that fucked up. Online toxicity is too strong and these companies don't want to have their products associated with it. So they would never offer me that kind of stuff. They said it was uh ice. She doesn't have ice. Nope. She has everything but ice. Touring Fury. Let's do it, I owe you. Good to go. Yeah. Go. Thanks. You're missing. You're not hitting. Oh no. Oh, that was great. Yeah, there we go. Orange says you probably played more Final Fantasy games than the people who actually work at Square Enix now. You're right. <laughs> you're. I mean, you're right. <clears throat> you're absolutely right. I likely have. I just came down that wall, correct? No, I came up here. We go up, or we can go this way. I don't know which way is the right way. If I go this way, hmm. We go up. I guess we'll try up first. <clears throat> this. And that's where I just came from. Yep. Or not. I can't tell. That looks the same, so I can't tell. Did I come from here or not? <clears throat> I mean, if not, then what... No, I guess not, because it's a dead end. There's nothing here, so what's the point of this area? Again, I feel like there's stuff that's supposed to be here that's not here yet. <laughs> Maybe I have to come back here later for a quest or something. Huh. Weird. It is weird. Ooh. Some, uh, unique-looking flying, uh, creatures and the new tower. I wonder how I get down there. Because, look, there's stuff there I haven't done yet. And apparently there's a treasure I didn't even find. One of two. Huh. To win. Everything's always weak to win. I 
actually want Punisher, but I screwed that up. Um, All set. Go. Got it. Nice moves. She doesn't really track the enemy crap. She really doesn't. This fight's not over yet. She fucking missed. He goes right for him. Material level up. We have like no health. Chakra materia has improved. There's like zero health. Probably should heal. Right? To hit. Anything else in this area that's not on the map yet? Find out. No. It did nothing. It literally scanned and found absolutely nothing on the map. How useful. Seriously, how disappointing. There's nothing there at all. What was the point of scanning if it wasn't going to find anything, right? <laughs> that was really lame. Um, We didn't do this one. Maybe what we should do... Fast travel here, hit up this one. And then fast travel down here. And then do this and this. Right? We already did this, I guess, yeah. We do that and that. And, uh... Wait, how did I do this? Wait, what? Did I do this yet? Fairscape Life Spring. How did I do this Life Spring when I had never been in that region before? What the? <clears throat> I've literally never been down here, and it claims I did a Life Spring. No, I did a Life Spring over here, didn't I? I'm really confused. I did. I guess. Oh, I did it around the edge there. Oh, okay. I'm so I'm confusing myself. All right, I think we'll do this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna rest at this Chocobo stop too. <laughs> yes. No, I, I just did it now, Sarah. That was, the, that was the wellspring we just went to. I didn't realize it that it was the same one. I like that you, Bell always appears off-screen slightly. <laughs> always just out of your, your, your eye shot. So that she you can immediately just walk on. Oh, here we go. We gotta fight these guys. Time to die. Hey. Uh, shoot. Actually... It's, uh, what do you call it? Ice. They're used to ice. Damn! Yeah, it's done the damage to him. No more games. It's over. Alright. On it. Nice pressure. The limit and beyond. Horizon Fall does crazy damage. So all she just like completely destroyed it. <laughs> oh my god. Weird. 
Go up and down and up and down. Moogle metal. We haven't found the Moogle area in this in this uh, part yet. That's true. We have to find the Moogles. So I can see if I can trade in some Moogle metals, but I don't know where they are in this, this region. <laughs> Oh, I totally agree. Gaspavelli says, this combat completely takes a dookie on Final Fantasy 16. Yes. Final Fantasy 16 is just endless. Oh, there's the Moogles. Final Fantasy 16 is button mashing. This is actual, like, combat. You know, having to go through different abilities, doing team-ups, all kinds of... Oh, my God. There's all kinds of stuff over there. I guess we're going to do all that. We're going to do Moogles first, though. I want to see... Uh, We're going to see what's at the Moogle house. And then we're going to head north here, and we're going to do that, and that, and that. I don't know how we're going to get to it, though. Like, I'm not sure. I guess maybe we have to walk up here, and maybe it just all connects, perhaps. Perhaps. But let's do the Moogles first. Baguette. Thank you for a super chat. Baguette. What a nice name, and what a delicious food. <laughs> on the leaderboard baguette crap do we have to do that moogle minigame every single time we go to a new moogle house we have to chase the moogles <clears throat> i'm not complaining if that's the oh i'm not complaining if that's the case i'm gonna go to the moogle house first yes you do Oh boy. X Shooter, how's it going? Good to see you. How you been? Excuse me. Sorry about the disgusting belch. Hopefully it didn't sound too bad with the new uh the new filters on the mic. <laughs> okay. Why is every Moogle's house a Mog? Mog is one particular Moogle. Eternal Napalm says Tifa's heavy uppercut with triangle, then diving kick from midair hits like a freight train. Bring back all the Mooglets for me, Koopo. Do this again, huh? Uh, mischief level of two. <laughs> oh! Yeah, oh, you can hold it. Oh, I didn't even know you could do this. You can hold the Moogles now. Cool. You couldn't do this in the in the first mini game. Can't hold this one. Ah, stun. Ah, I see. The goal in this one is to get them to walk into one of the spinny air things to stun them, and then you run them over here. Oh my God! What a mini game. Gotcha. Oh, Lala. I don't disagree with the silly nature of the Moogles in this, but I do... How am I supposed to get this one? But I do think that, like, their design is weird. <laughs> they totally didn't look like this in previous games. They redesigned them to be, like, realistic Care Bears, and that's kind of disturbing. We got Molulu. What the? Why did you go backwards? Okay. <laughs> the minigame's a tad bit unnecessary, but. I guess it's fine. <laughs> it's not bad or anything. Thanks so much. My goodness. We should have way more Moogle medals now. I really can't thank you enough for bringing all the Mooglets back. It's such a relief the Emporium that Mog and Mag built together won't have to close down. You're a lifesaver, Koopo. You'd be dressed up as a Moogle in Intergrade, she did. <laughs> Funny. 
Over here. All right, let's buy stuff. Thanks for coming to our Moogle Emporium. So now I have 23 medals, way more than I had earlier. Um. Whoa, what is this? A primer on proper sword technique increases cloud skill points. Oh, I'll just buy all of these. Oh, I'm short by one? Oh, come on. I'm short by a single Moogle medal. So I can't buy all of them. Oh, I'm going to buy what I can. Here, we'll buy this for red. I'll buy this for... Who? Aerith. I'll buy this for Tifa. And I guess Cloud gets assed out. <laughs> Cloud gets assed out completely. Alright. Thanks so much. <laughs> Can we leave now? What the? Complete this stage to earn a Moogle medal? So if you complete it, you get a Moogle medal. Oh. I don't really care. I'm gonna get more, way more of them in the environment anyway, so. All right, so we're good here. <clears throat> how do I use uh? How do I use those items that I just got? I just bought them, right? But I don't know how to use them. How does this work? This is upgrade weapons. How do I upgrade a weapon? I don't even understand how this works. I'm confused. You can only do it at a bookstore? Then why does it have it in the menu now? Right? <laughs> why is it in the menu now? That's bizarre. And by the way, do I have a second ability? <clears throat> she does have a second ability. Look. Okay, slightly increased MP recovery during battle. Okay, I didn't realize she had two. All right, there we go. The UI is very confusing. I'll agree there. Like, the UI is so busy with so much stuff at once that you just get lost in the menus. You're like, I don't even know what I'm doing here. I forgot where I need to go to do this or do that. And that's bad. It shouldn't be that complicated, right? It should be way simpler. I think this is going to take us to the ne next life spring. Darren says, I got so many Google plushies, but I don't think I'll be getting one of the design in this game. <laughs> Whoa, and they all just appear in front of me. How nice. Sorry, Bell. I didn't mean to walk into the wall there. No, 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 no. Oi, 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 oi. No, I don't want to go down. Yeah, I don't want to go down. Is this it? This is it. We have to climb, it looks like. Manually. Because the Chogobo can't climb up this, right? Nope. You do. Okay. We go even further up here? Probably what we'll do. Maybe that's why we get to the next area. Right? <clears throat> Amazing. And Trudy says, I cannot wait for the Star Wars Battlefront collection. I pre ordered it. That's cool. I'm, I'm definitely getting it. I can't wait to play it on Friday. But I need to know how to play it. I don't know if I should play it. Is the mainstream, the night stream, both streams? I'm kind of undecided on that. I think I'm going to love it, but I don't know how much the audience will like it. Cloud, your combat data has revealed the location of the Mind Flare lurking in the Junon region. The Mind it Flare? Eldritch Horror devours the brains of its It's victims. a rare enemy. We cannot turn a blind eye to this threat. Okay. You craft something with the Mind Flare item, too. Where is it? <laughs> oh. We were already down there, and it wasn't there, so we had to do this intel first to get the Mind Flayer to show up. Okay. <clears throat> well, we'll definitely go back and fight that thing when we're ready. Probably one of the last things we'll do. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> A 
Okay, going down. We went up, then we go down. We go further down, but I don't think we want to, right? This is going to take us back to where we came from. No. Where does this go now? Everything goes a different way. Like, how do I know I'm going the right way half the time? This one goes across the water and probably takes us to this. But then where where does this go? More items. More items. And some You're enemies, dead. but I don't think there's any significance for fighting these enemies in there. More material level up. First strike material improved. Cool. Whoa, this takes us down to water. Where does this go now? This is going to take us to another area we haven't been to yet. Look. Oh my god. Is there anything down there, though, is the question. Because I want to keep going this way to do the, the research. And after we do that, we can fight Phoenix. But I don't know if there's anything down there in the water or not. It doesn't really say. There might be, there might not be. There actually looks like there's a bridge down here. Does it not? All right, let's go down. <laughs> the world is so open world. You can't actually tell if you're going towards something that's important or not half the time. If we could go this way, down towards the water down there, and that leads up there, it looks like, right, to over here, we go, I think we should go the other way, because that's going to lead us towards the research and everything we need to do. <clears throat> Ooh. It's a heck of an open world, man. Oh, hello. Oh, good. Fast travel is always appreciated. Cool, cool. Excellent. Do, 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 do. And now the chat has completely clammed up and stopped talking, and I don't know why. Oh well. well I'm gonna keep playing, guys. <laughs> I don't know why you guys are clammed up. <laughs> I'm going this way. The stream is working, right? Yeah, it looks like it's working. Nineties guy says, "I'll be frank; these parts are boring." Yeah, and the thing is, you kind of need to do them, right? Like this is kind of the some of the main gameplay of the game. Like if I didn't do all the research, I'd never get all the summon monsters, right? <laughs> uh, I don't even know what we stumbled upon here. What is this now? Rose camp. Three vials of smelling salt. Let me guess, we gotta come back here later for a story mission, right? And a bottle of high ether, crow camp complete. Wow. That's literally it. Keep climbing. Nineties guy says he likes the game, but basically he's not gonna 100% go on Gaga and probably he won't do it through Cosmic Canyon either because it's, it's too much. But here we are. We're heading towards the, where we're going to fight. Yeah, see? The camp. We're going to head towards the Phoenix Research. And maybe from there we can do the fight, probably. <clears throat> probably. What's in the camp? Anything? We keep finding these camps, but they're all empty. There's no one in them. Who would set up this giant elaborate camp just to abandon it? Stuck.
Oh, oh. Line. Way? Can't tell which way. Down here, maybe? I think it's down here. Yep, it's literally right in front of me. Okay, we got an ether onion. Okay, I think we're supposed to. Where are we supposed to go now? This is a dead end, right? Huh. You can't do anything by swimming here. You can't climb. No. This is a dead end. But guess says, I do like your approach in recent years of trying to complete most of the content in RPGs. As long as it's content that I'm finding meaningful or fun, I'll do it. <clears throat> There's definitely been RPGs I've played where it just feels, seems really boring. And or just not productive. Like content for the sake of the content rather than to add to the game. And that I don't like. Man, how much you want to bet? Now we have to go all the way back. Right? It sure seems that way, doesn't it? Like it seems like we've reached a dead end. This really stinks. We reached a dead end and we can't get to the Phoenix Research from here. We have to go all the way around the other direction, I think. Walk Warrior says, Did I ever imagine a game world that would look like this when I was younger? I mean, <clears throat> it's kind of a... That's kind of a... How can I say? It's kind of a, a, a silly question because... There were, when we were younger, right? Video games were so basic. And... There was no way to know where technology was going to go or that video games were going to become the biggest form of entertainment on the planet. That's like asking me, well, did you ever think when you were younger you'd play video games for a living? No. <laughs> like, absolutely not. There certainly was no career path for that. There was nothing like that at all, right? So, I mean, yeah, obviously, no. I never thought that video games would look this good. Like, let me put it this way. When you're playing original Final Fantasy VII, in your mind's eye, this is what you're seeing the game as. You know what I mean? <clears throat> You're seeing the game as this crazy, elaborate, unique experience. And now, you know, the game obviously didn't live up to that. I mean, you're, you know what I mean? Like, you reminisce about old games. You're like, oh, that's what it looked like when you play it today. You're like, wow, it looks like shit, right? <clears throat> Already did this, right? Yep, okay. I'm gonna go all the way back down. Uh, hopefully we, that fast travel will help us later. Maybe we have to come back to that camp or something later. <clears throat> and so that'll pan out and work out for us. So I guess... I mean, we could climb back where we were, and maybe that'll lead us to this. Because if we go this way, it's just going to lead us over here, and I don't think there's anything over there. I guess we'll do this. <clears throat> Turn bike says, when I was a kid, I thought we'd still be using VHS tapes as adults. Right! I mean, we, didn't, we didn't have any frame of reference to know how fast technology would advance when we were young. So, you know, think about all the stuff you were doing in the 1980s and 90s. We're doing literally none of that. We're not watching tube TVs. We barely listen to radio at all, right? We don't, our video games are completely different. We don't even use the same technology to watch video or anything. Like, everything has changed. <clears throat> okay. Oh, uh, okay. Is this the correct way? Yes, across the water. So we had to do some backtracking. Here. <laughs> Scorched Earth, this My is called. My sensors indicate the presence of a unique life form. Right there. Rare variant identified. Commencing guidance protocol. All right. As their size puts them at the lower end of the food chain, they're exceptionally sketch creatures. Oh, what happened? Why are we getting knocked back? What's going on here? I keep it falling, and I don't know why. Wow, this is sick of my ass. <laughs> Ice.
He doesn't have it. Sarah says, funny looking back at all your old content, your dislike of Final Fantasy VII was a running joke, but now this game is shaping up to maybe be one of your Game of the Year picks. Right? I mean, right. Times change, you remember. What I had said was, really, I never given... I never played Final Fantasy VII like, uh, in the modern day. I'd only remembered it from the, from the 90s, and then in the 2000s, I played it on PC. And what I always respected about the game was its, its uh, combat. I really liked the combat and the materia system. I found it very entertaining and... and, and rewarding and enjoyable <laughs> but the story i felt was always underwhelming and not very good notably i did not like cloud as a protagonist because i felt like he was always more stoic and boring while all the protagonists of like final fantasy 6 were like super good he just felt to me like a poor choice for a protagonist and the, you know of course again i don't want to spoil the plot of this game so i don't want to tell you why he's like that because there's actually a plot justification for it but i don't i didn't like that I would have preferred a, a stronger, more entertaining protagonist. Excuse me, going up? We have to go up for this. Okay. <clears throat> Legend also tells of the gifts Phoenix bestowed on the kind angler. As thanks for his fire, the great bird brought forth myriad fish into the world. So when next you partake of the region's seafood, remember to praise Phoenix. Phoenix! We won't hold back. <laughs> How do I look at these things now? Now that I've assessed them, I don't know how to see, uh, how to see their stats. Like I want to see their weaknesses and stuff, and I can't remember how to do that. Do this way. I know it's weak to ice, but how do I see that menu again? I guess is the question. <laughs> she has to be high up to hit. Just like that, okay? I think Cloud was more stoic and boring than Lightning from Final Fantasy 13. Well, Lightning... If you remember, in the first Final Fantasy 13, she's not that stoic and boring. She's just a bitch. Like, she actually doesn't like most of the cast until, like, halfway into the game. And then she kind of opens up and becomes more friendly with them. But she's, like, really pissed off for the first half of the game. Um, in future iterations, she sucks. Like, in, in the other ones that she's in, like, 2 and 3 of that trilogy, she's terrible. She's just there to be, like, a plot device, right? Okay. The final Phoenix Sanctuary spot coming up. And then we can actually fight Phoenix. Go. I wonder if these ever get any harder, because right now they're still pretty simple, right? Pretty easy. I know the music is outstanding in this game. I love it. 
It's all the Final Fantasy VII themes redone. Circle, X, Circle, X. So, Circle, X, X, Circle. Okay. Oh, I fucking... I didn't see it start to move. Yeah, I didn't see it start to move. Here we go. You can mash the button? No. You have to do it perfectly. Okay. There we go. All right, we can get Phoenix now if we want. Well done. You've located and analyzed all the crystals in the Junon region. Thanks to you, Phoenix's flames will no doubt be that much more radiant. Ah, though you have yet to obtain the requisite materia, as I recall, you'll first need to confront the Divine via the combat simulator. Okay, so we finished this. I think what we'll do... <clears throat> Let's fast travel back down here and then do this quest. And we gotta do this photo as well while we're there. Um, but one bummer is we don't have a fast travel here, you know? Like, the, like the closest would be like here and go south, I guess. We have to do this tower. We still have to do this. This is the, the multi-stage quest, I believe. You get the relic. So we've done a lot. We're actually almost done with the stuff in the region. Here, let's do this go here and we'll go do this quest quickly. It's right next to it. I guess we'll just rest again. Why not? I can easily make more cushions. They're easy to craft. There's a quest up here. Hope you guys are enjoying uh, your, your quieter audience today. And it's hard for me to read when it's a quieter audience like this. If you guys are having fun or not. I hope you are. Here we are. What is this? Pour their energy into the promotional aspect. They'll be thrilled to hear it. Let's go. What is this? A bunch of balloons. Uh... Oh, there's a bench here, too. Oh, good. I could level here as well. All right. Oh, look who it is. Greetings. Oh, no. It's her again. Kyrie, Merc of Juno. Is she going to be in every region now? Oh, man. I got all excited thinking I had a customer. Well, thanks for making the trip out here to say hi, fellow Merc. Not your fellow anything. <laughs> and quit calling yourself a Merc. You're giving the real ones a bad name. Uh, what even is a Merc? Nobody really knows. And besides, arguably this whole mess can be laid at your feet, mister. <sighs> I came all the way out to Junon to strike it rich, but nobody knows we're here. Or even that we exist. <clears throat> zero publicity, which means zero clients. I mean, this is business 101. <laughs> <sighs> Since you suck so bad at self-promotion, I had to pick up the slack and come up with an ad campaign. But, like... What's your brand? Tall, blonde, and not interested? Sounds like a one-way ticket to bankruptcy to you. <laughs> <clears throat> you laugh. Allergies. What? Shut up. This thing can talk? Indeed. Aww. Aren't you just the most adorable boy? Hey, you know, I've always wanted a pet of my own. Wow, everyone's the best with him in this game. Uh, yikes. 
Okay, scratch that. Right. Anyway, as I was saying, I'm putting in all this work for us, yet we haven't managed to bring in a single customer. And if we don't get one really soon, your CEO and PR head is as good as done. But not to worry. I put my creative skills to work and came up with this ditty. Oh my god. Oh no. Pretty good, right? Folks will be lining up in no time. Wait, monsters? Well, what could have drawn them here? I'm sure your aggressive advertising has nothing to do with it. Please, Cloud, you've got to help me. After all, nobody knows how to take down monsters like a murder. So hire yourself. You're a pro, aren't you? Uh, it's supposed to be comedy Don't relief, be I guess. Oh, mm. I'll even give you some of these. Pass. Wait, our lives are in as much danger as hers now. We have to fight. Great. <laughs> Hold on. Can we do this first? We can. How do I... I bought some of these items, but I don't know how to use them. Right? Like for Aerith, I bought one. But how do you use those items? I bought it at the, uh, the Chocobo place, but I don't know. Did it just automatically use it? Or do I have to use it myself? Like, I'm not sure. Do an ice magic attack without using MP. Increase magic attack by 20. Sure. Sounds good to me. Music is atrocious. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how the item that I bought, I don't know how it's implemented. Bodyguard? We'll get that too. It's automatically updated? Oh, okay. So I don't have to do anything. <clears throat> wow. Five points for Barrett. Ten for Tifa. Maybe we get a new ability. Uh... Bodyguard. I was going to get bodyguard for everybody. 15 for red. Iron defense. You move with a partner and take a strong defensive stance. Increase your HP absorb by 20%. I'll get a bunch of these. Wild charge. Yeah, I mean, what do you guys think? Should I turn down music volume? People are saying the music volume is too loud. I could turn it down if you guys want. <clears throat> if it really bothers you. Fender? Anything new you can buy? Mega Potion. Alpha Dunk Bangle. I already have one, right? Yeah, I own one. <laughs> They're selling one for like a huge discount. Not loud, this is just a tacky song. <laughs> Alright, buy those potions. Oh, you can buy unlimited? Oh, crap. I didn't know you could buy unlimited. Buy some high potions. Okay. I guess we gotta go down there and fight those uh, flans. <clears throat> I guess we should save first. Let's save. Put the part. And then fight the flans and continue on. Okay, cool. <laughs>